In this video, I'll talk a little bit about some very basic VOSE's troubleshooting steps when you encounter issues, as well as how to reach out and how and when to submit a bug report. To start, we always like to note that VOSE's does not automatically refresh on the screen. This is so we can be compatible on the most devices possible, um, but sometimes that means if you add or remove students or change content within the editor, you don't always see it reflected on the page immediately. Sometimes you'll just need to do a refresh of your browser screen. So just reloading the page will oftentimes fix that. You'll be able to see those changes that you made. Another thing we often recommend is double checking that you are logged in as the teacher. And if you're using an LMS, you should see LMS linked after your name. If you don't see that, you would want to log out and log back in, making sure that you are using the Vosay's digital login and the LMS login if, if you're using one of those programs. If you're still having issues, the next step would be to use the question mark icon or help and support within your account. This gives you the option to send us an email, do a live chat, or even give us a call. You can also schedule a free walkthrough at any point in your subscription, whether it's a trial or you're a paid user, um, brand new or been with us for years. We're always happy to answer any specific questions and set aside some time for you there. You do have access to the VOSES community as well that'll let you talk with other teachers who are using VOSES and can be a really useful tool for good ideas and best practices. Now, those are great ways to reach us with any quick questions. Of course, if you're still having issues or you're seeing what you think is a technical error or issue, then you would want to report a bug. So that would be for anything that's not working as expected. So if you have um, a hard deadline set on an assignment and you're seeing that students are turning it in after that deadline or something along those lines, that's when you would want to report a bug or technical error. You'll click on this little alien face and then you'll see the option to uh, start a new support ticket. We'll click here on new support ticket and give a description of the issue. So here we wanna be as specific as possible. Um, the system will automatically collect the title that you're in, your account um, information, so you don't have to worry about that, but you would just wanna be as detailed as possible. For example, if a specific student is having an issue on a specific assignment, you would want to list that student's information as well as the assignment information. That helps us quickly and efficiently um, troubleshoot your issue. Once you've typed your description of the issue here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just type description of issue. I'll hit submit. That will start a new ticket, and I'll be able to see the status of that ticket here within the um, support ticket menu. I can click on that and just see what I sent and what my description was, all of that information, and then I'll be able to see the status once it's replied to. Students can also submit a ticket, so if they are having issues with their accounts, they can use the same process to submit it to our technical team as well. As you saw in this video, there's lots of great ways to get a hold of us if you are still having any issues with your account. 